right, welcome back to my channel. So I did a little Alphalete Black Friday haul, but specifically I wanna review the Amplify Seamless Leggings since I know those were super hyped up. And then I also got some stuff that I haven't tried from Alphalete, which this is the set I'm wearing now, which is like the Alpha Lux, Alpha Lux Essential Leggings. But yeah, also I got a waiver and I used it for the first time today. So if I look different, like that's probably why I think I need to like test it out more. But um, I'm filming both this haul and my Buff Funny haul today, so I, I'm just gonna like have this hair for these next two videos. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm basically gonna get right into it. I have a small and all alphalete, and I say they run pretty true to size. My stats will be down below for reference. But yeah, I'm gonna start with this that I'm wearing, starting with the sports bra. I think this is called the tri bra, and I forget what color this is, but it's really pretty. I actually, when I had this on as a set, like yes, when I first put it on, I wasn't really sure about it being a set like together. However, now I really like the color. I don't know, I felt like yesterday I looked washed out, but today I look fine. Um, and I also really like mix and matching this stuff, which is what's something I really like about a lot of the Alphalete stuff, I feel like is they're really, like they have really cute color palettes where you can like mix and match their stuff. This is like a brushed fabric and I actually wore it all day yesterday. I wore it uh, to personal training in the morning and then I worked from home all day um, and I literally wore it the whole entire day and it was so comfortable, which I actually never do with a sports bra, so I don't know. It is like a little bit longer than like my typical, I would say like Lululemon Free To Be Wild bras. Like I know Gabby Shea, say, Gabby Shea says she tucks hers in, which you can do, but I was totally comfortable with it being just like out like that. And then it has like it, just like a decent size strap here. And I just like the way this scoops, like it almost is like a little bit loose where it's like kind of flattering. I don't even know how to describe it, but I think it's like the perfect amount of coverage and it just like fits really well. And then I'll just show you what the back looks like. Okay, and then right here is the back, which is why it's called the tri bra, and I think that's super flattering. I really like open, strappy backs, and I just think it's really, really comfortable. Like, I kind of want to get this in every other color there is, because it just is, like I said, a pretty staple sports so I can, like, mix and match with stuff. Um, and then moving on to the matching leggings, the essential leggings. You can see I have a tag sticking out here, which is so annoying that they put a tag like in the seam, like in here. It makes it super hard to like try on. I feel like they should just put the tag right around the ankle, if anything. But oh, that's so annoying. I wasn't sure if I was going to keep them, but like the more I put them on, the more I like them. Um, like I said, I did get Buff Bunny, which I just reviewed. And just to quickly compare these leggings to the Live Free leggings, because you know that those ones also don't have a front seam and like a similar waistband like this um i would say the live free are not as stretchy like these feel a lot stretchier and like maybe and like just like longer like just a little bit longer as well so yeah i would say like these are like a lot more stretchy and like not as tight like around the back i'd say but yeah otherwise i love the no oh also these ones don't give me any bunching the buff funny ones i think because they're a little tighter they give me more bunching like in under that region since there is no front seam but yeah i think the only thing with these leggings is it is a little bit loose back here where i can see it sliding down like i'll show you in a second when i squat i feel like it gapes a little bit back there but other than that i think like if i was an athlete for them and i got these leggings i would love them because uh, like they're just super comfortable to put it on and just like very buttery. All right, I ended up just taking a tag off because I decided I'm just gonna keep them. So <laughs> now you don't have to deal with that. This is what they look like when you squat. So I mean, they're definitely squat proof, but let's see like, I don't know if you could tell in that video, but it's like definitely a lot of room back here. So that's the only thing. Um, but I don't know, like I think that they're high waisted enough where they don't really slip down because like they still fit around the quads so they don't fall down. It just feels like a little bit loose back there. So other than that, I think like these are a pretty solid pair of leggings. They're just like definitely comfortable to put on. I would say compared to Lulu lines, they're not as like compressive, you know? So like they don't like, like compress you too much. So I feel like that's what's nice about these is like they just kind of like lay on your body, which is nice so they're very comfortable. All right, and then for the Amplify leggings, I got them in a small, like I said, I got this in this color, which is a really pretty, pretty color. And I actually love it paired with this sports bra. However, I'm gonna try it on with this sports bra because um, this is like a different style one. I forget what this one's called. 
it has like that back like that so it's a little bit different and these straps are adjustable i actually got this sports bra in this rose wine color which is so pretty as well and i already wore this to the gym and it's so so comfortable like i felt like i didn't have to even touch it at all the whole time like i felt perfectly secure and in place yeah i'm gonna show you what that looks like with these leggings like i said this color together is just so pretty i'm such a pink person but before i try the leggings on i wanted to compare them to the short biker shorts that came out earlier this year which i did do a review on and i did like them however like over time i just realized that they were just like way too high waisted and where the band came it came way too high on your stomach where it created that like bulge in your stomach and it was just way too tight where i never feel like i want to put them on like this is a small in the biker shorts and a small in the leggings and look how different they look there's so much more room in the leggings there for the waistband, like so much more room. So it's just definitely not nearly as tight as the leggings or as the shorts. And also the seam, I think I measured it. I wanna say it was like half an inch smaller from like top to bottom. So it didn't come up as high waisted where you feel the need to like roll it down. Like, let me just stand up and show you. Like I felt like with the shorts, it came up like the, the band ended like high up here and because it was so tight it created like a huge bulge in this area if you know what i'm talking about if you have stuff like that so i'm really glad they didn't make the leggings like that and they fit so much better so, but then also i know that the big thing about the leggings is that it has that really really intense butt scrunch which i do think it's a is a little invasive but i'll just show you that on right now okay also Oh, I forgot to mention about the leggings compared to the shorts. So I feel like the fabric of the shorts feels a lot like stiffer and scratchier. And then compared to these, these feel like buttery, soft, and almost like really thick, opaque stockings. But not to the point where they're going to rip kind of stockings, but just like a lot softer than these. These feel like a lot scratchier. So here's this outfit. This color is so pretty. Like I am such a pink person. And then you'll see, obviously, there's no front seam. It has that like three layered waistband where it's like three different, I forget what it's called, just like, you know, three different types of compression to really like cinch you in. And as you can see, it's not as high as the biker shorts. The biker shorts would like come all the way up to your sports bra like easily. Like if I did that here, it would just be like pulling too much. Um, I don't feel like I'm getting much gathering underneath, you know, like you would with a seamless, like with a no front seam legging. There is like detailing along here, but it's not really intense. And then that is what the butt scrunch looks like back there. Um, so yeah, it's not like, I don't know, it's not invasive, but I feel like it does feel kind of intense. Uh, like I said, I wore this when I was teaching at the class I personal train at. And I did have a new client and I was demonstrating like how to do a sled push on this skill mill that we have. And what you have to do for that is like go like this. And I felt like, and like then like push. And I felt like my butt was just like really just like in his face because like my seam, you know, was like all the way up there. So it's the only thing is that like, I felt like, you know, it is definitely like makes it feel like your butt is just like out for everyone to see. But these are very comfortable leggings. So I don't know if that makes any sense. <laughs> And they are very flattering. And then I'll show you what they look like when I sweat down. And then this is what they look like when they come back up. So it's definitely like really up your butt. So if you're not someone that likes that, don't go for these leggings. But I do think they are flattering and they are very comfortable. Like you saw how much extra room there was in the waistband. So I don't feel like I'm being like super tight in here. And yeah, I think these are pretty solid. And then as for this sports bra, it's pretty similar to the other one. Very similar top as well, except for the back is adjustable and it's more of an open back like that. And I think it's just so comfortable, doesn't like move or anything. I will say the only thing about these leggings, I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera, but definitely in person is I feel like with this color at least, is it's not forgiving at all with like cellulite or anything. I feel like it definitely does show a lot like around here. So I would just be wary of that and what color you get. And I assume that's why the, um, that like dark blue color sold out so fast online, like that dark waters, because I'm sure most people realize that you want to get like the, you know, darker colors of these. I actually did do a second order like minutes after I ordered the, this one I was really lucky to get this like a week after Black Friday not even but um the other one just shipped yesterday I'm not sure when that will come but I got this these leggings in the nomadic blue and then I got like the matching top to it like 
I forget if it was short sleeve or long sleeve I got. I think I got the short sleeve one. And then I did get um, like one of their crop tops. So I, you know, I wasn't gonna put that in this video. So it's like the same thing, but I will show it on my Instagram story. So if you're interested to see that, I literally am always showing all the clothes that I get, even if I don't end up reviewing it on YouTube. But yeah, I just wanted to get this review up there because I know a lot of people were interested in the Amplify leggings. So yeah, I don't know. I might get like these sports bras in like every color and then like maybe some of these to like match those sports bras, but. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I feel like a lot of the people that have gotten the leggings so far really like them, so I'm interested to see like if anyone didn't like them. I would think like the main reason why you wouldn't like them is just like that scrunch might be a little bit too much up your butt if you don't like that and like pretty much out there. However, I feel like it feels like fine on me and it's definitely flattering, but I just don't know if that would get old over time. <laughs> um, and I will say these are like way more comfortable to put on than the Revivals. Like the Revivals are really hard to get up your legs. And like those also are like the new ones are super high waisted as well and like definitely snatchy and super tight so like i love the two i have but i just never reach for them because they're just so compressive and tight that i just like don't even want to bother putting them on my body <laughs> and those do also have the tendency to show the bulge as well because they're like definitely very high waisted okay it's actually me from the next day i put on the outfit again because i wanted to take a picture in it and i just felt like i and i'm editing a video and i just wanted to make like a few more points First point is just like to compare it to Gymshark camo or not even, cam well, I guess yeah, Gym to Gymshark camo or even the animal print seamless I just got. I would say like the material is, material is super different and obviously the butt scrunch is way more intense on this one. And I feel like they both have the issue where they do kind of dip down in the back here a little bit. And I feel like I do have to kind of pull them up a little bit because there is like room back here, right? It's not like totally tight and cinched completely. I would say if I'm having like a bloated day, I would probably go towards more of the Gymshark camo or animal print one, just cause I feel like those do smooth you out more. And I feel like this does show a lot more. So it's just something to keep in mind. And then also I just wanted to make the point, I guess I'll sit down for this, about pricing. I do realize that these are actually $72 cause I did obviously get them on sale. So they're a little cheaper, but now regular, regular, <laughs> a regular price, they're $72 which is actually their most expensive pair of leggings, I'm pretty sure, on their website. So if, if it's worth it, I would say it might be just worth it to get like your favorite color, but I don't think you necessarily need it in every single color. Um, like I feel really cute in this color, but I don't think I need like every color that they come out with. But I mean, we'll see if I end up liking it more over time, but that's just how I feel right now. So I just wanted to mention that. But if you made it this far in the video, you'll see that there is a giveaway. Um, I did announce on my story the other day, my Instagram story, I did like a little giveaway on my story where I then mowed a random person some money just to like, because I appreciate when people actually, you know, interact and like my posts um, to s and see that they're actually like looking at my stories and not just like tapping through it. So I did also say that if I hit 13,000 on YouTube that I would do a little giveaway on YouTube as well. And since I'm editing this video and I saw I just hit 13,000, I figured why not throw it in this video? You know, it's like giving season. So all you have to do to enter is obviously be subscribed to me, follow me on Instagram, and then comment your Instagram handle below in the comments so I know how to reach out to you. And I'll just, I'm gonna be giving away, or I'll just Venmo someone $50 for this giveaway. So you can use that any way you want rather than just doing a specific gift card. So I'll just be Venmoing whoever $50. And then, and then I'll announce the winner Monday, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, because um, I live in New Jersey. So, and I'll just be announcing that on my Instagram story. So it's next Monday, I'm not sure what day that is. I'll just put that on the screen here, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So all the details will be down below, just to repeat that. But I just appreciate all you guys following me and subscribing and commenting. I really do like just sharing all my hauls and I'm glad you guys enjoy that. So other than that, I'll, See you in the next video.